In this video, I will discuss both Enterprise and Datco bus rentals. These come up frequently and I would like to let you guys in on our perspective when it comes to reviewing these types of requests. The first thing I would like to say is that Enterprise, and less so Datco, requires that we book with them one month in advance. So please make sure that you pay attention in this video so we can have your request complete as early as possible. To begin, I want to go over the additional information that we request from you guys beyond event information for these types of requests. For enterprise rentals, we need to note the amount of vehicles you are requesting, their make, pickup and drop off times and dates, the pickup location, the drop off location, driver's full name, date of birth, age, email, and phone number, along with the full names of the passengers. For DATCO, we request pickup and drop off dates, locations, times, and a charter ID. I also want to discuss the common mistakes that are made when requesting a DATCO bus or car rental. These include not grouping a minimum of four people to a car and six people to a van without communicating the reason why to the funding staff, not providing DATCO quotes with a charter ID. This occurs when you actually book the bus. And lastly, not using full names when completing a driver and passengers list. Here I demonstrate where to go in order to request a DATCO bus. First, go to the usg.ucon.edu website, click on the funding section, click on funding resources, then go to bus quotes. This is the form that you're gonna fill out for your DATCO bus rental. On the same page is also linked enterprise quotes where you can see all the current rates for enterprise vehicles to give you a better understanding of the price points that you'll be looking at. Although this page is helpful, you should still go to Enterprise's website in order to give us a good quote. The image I have pulled up is the type of debt code document that we need. As you can see, it includes the charter ID in the right hand corner, all times and dates associated with the bus, and a total price at the bottom. This is the only form of DATCO quote that we will accept, and if it does not look like this, your request will be 100% returned back to you. Next, I have two examples of enterprise quotes. The first one is simply a quote that an RSO received from emailing enterprise for a direct quote based on the days of renting, number of vehicles, and make of vehicles as well. The other quote is from Enterprise's website directly and includes the dates and times of travel, the pickup and drop off location, which should be Willimantic Enterprise. It then includes the type of vehicle they would like in price point, breakdown of the number of days they would be traveling and how much it would cost. This quote will be almost perfect if the screenshot included the vendor in which they are purchasing from. You guys should be taking screenshots of your entire screen so that the URL is present. Luckily, we know what Enterprise's website looks like, but it's not our job to interpret that. 